Hey everyone, welcome back to Brown Coat Nerd. Today we definitely have uh, some nerd stuff for you. Um, I was messing around on Amazon and just kind of stumbled across this. This is the Netflix Stranger Things Limited Edition Energizer Retro Flashlight. Yeah, uh, apparently that's a thing. Um, I saw this and I've got a friend of ours, me and my wife's, and she's really into Stranger Things. And I just like love getting weird little quirky stuff like this, you know, for my friends or into different things. Something you would see that would be like, okay, that's weird, but you'd never buy it for yourself. So you let someone else buy it for you. So what we have inside here is a uh, 150 lumens LED 25 watt uh, retro style flashlight. Shines up to 90 meters. Has an 80 hour battery life and is water resistant. Um, so, go ahead and show you what's on the box. This box did come a little beat up. I know a lot of times people that collect stuff like this, you know, you wanna keep the box and have it be in good shape. Um, I was just kinda of looking around on the reviews on Amazon, um, and that does seem to be a common thing. I did see somewhere online that this was a Walmart exclusive. So if that's something that you're really concerned about, um, I guess maybe go to Walmart and see if they have one that's not all beat up. And of course, I think like that there, that's in the print. That's not from being beat up, but the box is a little squished here. There we go, the sides. And it's got some Morse code writing on here, different little kind of uh, Easter eggs, I guess you could say. Now, I don't want to rip up this packaging because, like I said, this is going to be a gift. Oh, look at here. So, yeah, you're a Demogorgon hunting flashlight. Um, also, um, these, this being a retro flashlight and me growing up in the 80s, I can say this also um, doubles as a lightsaber very well. So, yeah, this is a... And it is actually... Aluminum, or as some might say, aluminium. Um, so that's kind of cool, because I totally remember um, these styles of flashlights when uh, I was younger. So, some little Easter eggs here. Um, Hawkins National Laboratory, U.S. Department of Energy, HNL. That's kind of neat there. Um... And it says this light belongs to, um, and I believe that's supposed to be uh, Martin Brenner or Papa, as Eleven would call him. And then, of course, here these are not Easter eggs, but you know they're required by law. Yada yada logos, and yes, this is made in China. Then we have Morse code up here along the edge of the flashlight and I was too lazy to actually look this up and decode it myself so I just looked on the internet and according to the internet um, what this says is uh, friends don't lie which I believe is from season one of Stranger Things and you can see we got a little LED bulb in there yellow button feels like a quality switch it doesn't feel cheap at all um, and we have EverReady Energizer logo there. This is plastic. Then on the back here, this is our secret compartment, I assume. And then I did see there's supposed to be some kind of special message in here. Warn 11. All right. Eat your Ovaltine or drink your Ovaltine, right? Uh, I imagine all of these messages are the same. There might be different ones. I don't know. Um, so, like, I don't remember, like, any, I don't remember any flashlight with a secret compartment in the show. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong. I don't even know if you see any of these retro style flashlights in the show. I imagine you probably do somewhere in the background just because of the time it takes place. This does have an O-ring on it. I guess that's worth noting if you want to try to hide something in there that you do not want to get wet. Of course, got the little ring on here. Um, okay, there's the battery compartment. Now, like in the old days, I feel like there would always be like a spare bulb down inside that ring. But this is an LED, obviously, so 
and the batteries are included which is awesome 2d batteries very very dusty d batteries boys up after a light dusting it's like paper fiber or something all over them now like i said this bulb uh, let's see they advertise it to be 150 lumens um and an 80 hour battery life shines up to 90 meters so i will just shine it in the corner of the room and oh, that ain't 150 lumens <laughs> what um yeah maybe a hundred lumens um, that's a little disappointing but I mean it, it would work as a flashlight um especially you know 80 hour battery life that's pretty good but I guess these are D batteries I think those last pretty long I haven't bought D batteries and God knows when. Um, yeah, I don't have anything to like measure the light, unfortunately. But I would be curious to look around, and maybe see some other videos or something. Someone's on it. I do not. I'm not a big flashlight guy, so. Um, but I do not feel like that's 150 lumens. I'm basing this off of my TLR6. That is on my Glock 43. And uh, that is 100 lumens. And I feel like this is just about as bright as that. Maybe possibly even a little dimmer. Um, so, yeah. And then I also have a TLR, a Streamlight TLR S1. And I believe that one's rated at 300 lumens. And, yeah, obviously this is, this is nowhere close to that. So, um, it's not super dim. It's definitely a usable flashlight. Um, and like I said, you know, I know there's people on YouTube that just review flashlights. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe that is 150 lumens, but it does not quite look like that to me. But it's it's bright enough I'd feel comfortable using this at night. Just know it's it's nothing fancy, you know. Um, nothing that's going to be super, super bright. Um, and, you know, I was just turning it on in my uh, room here. So, you know, while it might be a little bit dimmer than they say, maybe that beam travels pretty good. I was just looking here. There's some very minor nicks. Once again, people that collect stuff that will probably drive you crazy. But uh, my friend, I'm giving this to. I, I do not think this is going to sit on a shelf or anything. I imagine she will go ahead and use it, which uh, is fine with me. And now this big cardboard stuff fell apart. like it was before yeah sure something like that so there you go um i don't think i mentioned this yet but i got this for 20 bucks off of amazon like i said i've seen this advertised as walmart exclusive maybe the walmart exclusive has something slightly different a different message in it or an extra little kind of easter egg they've added on there but i mean i don't know why i put it up so quick it's it is cool i i really dig the retro style flash i almost kind of wish they made these without all the little goofball easter egg stuff and maybe they do um this just kind of popped up in the retro style definitely reminded me of it and you know it's it's cool i i definitely hits my heartstrings um, and you might you know like i said it's not super bright but you know it, i think it still will get the job done and now um that we've seen in the new season of stranger things that Nancy Wheeler apparently did swipe a Russian Makarov pistol out of that secret base. I did, actually did a video on the guns of Stranger Things Season 3 specifically. Um, and there's tons of Tokarevs in that. But there's one scene in the radio room where uh, it did look like the guy had a Makarov. Uh, you briefly see it on the floor. Uh, but apparently maybe that was a Makarov and Nancy swiped it. So by... Whoa! as I knock over the camera. At the very least, you know, Nancy could use it to clear some rooms. You know, old school style without a tack light on there. So, yeah, it's uh, it's kind of cool. It's not super expensive. Um, 
if you need a flashlight and you like Stranger Things and you like the retro look, yeah, 20 bucks, not bad. I'd do it. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Stay safe and stay shiny.